sure you remember the horse that was abandoned on the streets of Philadelphia. It wasn't that long ago, was it? Was it just like, I don't know. I mean, it feels like that. two weeks ago. Was yeah, it two weeks, weeks now? Yeah. So. yeah, it's named Na uh, Darian, right? Mm -hmm. And that's because he was found on North Darian Street in Hunting Park. And, you know, the whole community came out and they're feeding him, trying to, you know, help him out. And they wanted something to happen. They wanted to get him out of there and get him someplace where he should be. So last we heard that he was looking for a loving home, but he's found a temporary one okay. in Bucks County. Jen. Yeah, okay, guys, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good, good morning. morning, Darian. Hi. So we are at the Last Chance Ranch. So this is where Darian will be for about two to three months, mm -hmm. right? So when you look at him, he's been here... About five days. About five days. Yeah. How do, he looks a lot different now than he even looked five days ago, right? Yeah, he, he definitely seems to be starting to flourish, come into his own a little bit here. Um, he right now gets unlimited hay. Um, and then he does have access to a small grassy pasture. Cool. Um, so we're slowly working on getting him on a refeeding schedule because we can't throw a whole bunch of grain at him right away. You estimate he's about 200 pounds underweight. Yeah, uh, from his initial intake weight, which was 645 pounds about. Okay. I think he should be between eight. 900 pounds. Wow. Okay, should we put him on the scale? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and of course, we'll only do this to a man. We wouldn't do this to a woman. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. So one of the things that'll happen this summer is that he's going to get vaccinated. He'll get up to date, see a veterinarian. Yeah? Yeah. So he he needs everything. He needs the farrier, a dentist to float his teeth. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> he's gained like 50 pounds. That's great. Way to go. Okay, we'll get out of the way so that he can. So uh, the one thing you talked about, his dentist and even, you'll forgive me, I don't speak horse. Yeah. His feet. Yeah, so um, his feet are super, super long in the toe. Yeah. Um, so he definitely needs to be seen by the farrier. It's probably been quite a while, so he'll need a couple, like, corrective trims. Okay. Just to change the angle of the hoof a little bit. Okay. Um, just so that he's more comfortable. We do vaccines. Um, we have the equine dentist, which... Not quite like a human dentist. <laughs> okay. Horse teeth actually grow constantly. Really? So they Do they can, trim them? Yeah, they they file them down a little oh. bit. Yeah. So, so one of the things you're teaching, reteaching him how to do is be aware of, of the things that are underneath him, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So show us coordinate. a little bit about what you're doing. You've got this whole thing set up so that he can learn to not trip over stuff. Yeah, exactly. So as he, I mean, he obviously has a lot of muscle loss. Yeah. Um, so he's going to be working on gaining muscle back, yeah. gaining coordination back, and that's all going to be key to, you know, possibly getting him back under saddle or under saddle to begin with. We're not quite sure, you know, his background and if he was ridden. You can see some markings, though, on his back, and that yeah. indicates that... It does look like he has on his withers, which is like, if Steph can point that out, kind yep. of that top part of yeah. his back there. Um, there is some scarring on that, which is a lot of time caused by like an ill-fitting saddle. Yeah. Um, so likely, especially if he was being ridden when he was skinny oh. um, in his current state, like yeah. that would just be like constant rubbing on that high point there since he has no muscle mass to okay. hold the saddle. And he's a pony. He is a pony, yeah. So how much bigger will he get absent height wise yeah. he's probably not going to grow much bigger we haven't had the vet out to tell us like age wise because they have to look at their teeth and give an estimate but i would say he's probably like in his teens rough guess okay um he's definitely been there done that seen some stuff you know he he's fairly calm in our handling here um so it definitely makes me believe that he's a little bit older of a horse that you know has seen things okay so people have been so generous giving money for yes. him but you have about but depending on the time, 125 to 150 mm -hmm. animals here. A lot of them are larger dogs. Yep. Um, so uh, we're Darian, with Darian's permission, you want people to care about all the animals Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have gotten a good number of donations so far yeah. um, towards Darian's care, which is going to be critical because it's going to be at least $1,000 for all of the vetting that he requires. Okay. But like you said, I mean, we have over 100 animals of varying types, dogs, horses, cats. Cats, uh, barnyard critters. I think I saw an alpaca. Yeah, there, there is an alpaca. Um, so all those animals, 
costs a lot of money to feed, a lot of money for vetting and all that kind of you stuff. You also need volunteers all the time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if anybody wants to get their hands dirty, yeah. scoop some poop. There you um, go. We love yeah, it. we love volunteers. So. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, and, and guys, uh, Mike, Alex, Karen, what they think will happen is he'll probably be here two or three months, maybe till August, and that's when you can start to consider having him, um, yep. you know, adopted or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because it'll take us time to, you know, evaluate him. I mean, it's going to be a while until we can even consider putting a saddle on him okay you know so we have to make sure that he's up to speed health wise i love it he's looking good nice work ladies thank you and all the volunteers back to you guys and he's in quarantine right now so he can't really be around too many people too many animals yeah, he's got to kind of be over there yeah we're yeah. glad to see he's doing well though getting better god love yeah. those people mm -hmm. at last chance great. ranch great work they're doing. wow